Welcome back to Reef and Pond Wise. Today's video is how I dose good bacteria or beneficial bacteria. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. That tells you when I will be uploading future videos. So in the comment section from a previous video, somebody asked, well, how do you actually dose the good bacteria for the opening of your pond? And I'm gonna show you how. This is the beneficial bacteria, which I get from Aquascape. And this will last me a good uh, year or two. And for every capful, this will treat 1,300 gallons of water. So my pond is 7,500 gallons. So I'm going to start off with six cupfuls of this good bacteria not cupfuls this spoonful now I found an experience that this works better and mixes much much better with warm water so I'm going to put six and these are full capfuls of beneficial bacteria in here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, because this is warm water and it mixes better in warm water, we're gonna give this a good stir. And this is just a standard 16 ounce cup. Now, the idea here is when you're dosing your beneficial bacteria, you don't just throw it right in the pond. You want to spread it out a little bit so it can pollinate and get on the different surfaces of the pond. Um, it's benefit to the fish to have it spread off around the rocks, around the walls of the pond. And if you just throw it in, you're going to rely on your water circulation and a water column to spread the uh, beneficial bacteria around and you you don't want to do that so spread it out evenly while we're doing this i'm going to throw a few flakes of food in and see if any of the fish come up i see one or two already and, and here they come so the pond dye from a previous video that I put in a few days ago is definitely doing its job. It's not only protecting the fish, but it is killing off already quite a bit of the algae from previous videos. And the water quality is awesome. So in an upcoming video, I'll be testing the water. That'll be next. And we're about three quarters of the way with our pond opening for the spring. So I'm going to stay away from the fish while they eat a little bit of their food. And I'm going to take this cup. And I'm going to start putting it around the pond in little drips. And you can almost see the bacteria sitting on the water. That's why, you guys, you don't want to just throw this in the pond. I found and get the best results that if you put it in the pond very slowly around the edges that it does an effective job as it grows and colonates itself in the water. I'm going to put a little splash right there on the waterfall. I'm going to put a couple of drops over here in this bog pond. And we'll get a little bit going here. So as you can tell, I'm just sprinkling, sprinkling a little bit, a few drops along the whole perimeter of the pond, making sure that 
I get this good bacteria flowing on the waterfalls, the rock, around the edges of the pond. Again, you don't want to just throw this all in at one time because it won't do as an effective of a job as it's going to do here. And that's the last of it. So that's what works for me. That's part of the ecosystem for the pond is this beneficial bacteria. Now, this beneficial bacteria will treat up to... 1,000, 4,000 gallons of water. So this beneficial bacteria will last me a couple of seasons if I choose to, which I normally do, treat each and every week when I clean my filters. So that's how I dose the beneficial bacteria. And until next time, guys, remember anyone can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep a pond and that someone special is you.